Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to do this awesome photo effect. I did this during my last live stream and this is also going to be your challenge for week 33 details linked below in the video description. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Let's get started. I want to close this this is the original picture you can see it's just a normal phone screen and the first thing I want to do here is to crop it to the right dimensions so I go here to the left side there's a crop tool you go to custom ratio and then simply enter one and one of course you can set a different ratio if you want to I want to use this for Instagram so one by one a square picture is good then set this up I want to have the phone roughly in the center maybe a little bit higher than the center so the bridge can go somewhere and then as we have set this up hit enter and this will crop the picture the next thing we want to do is to select the picture that matches that of course I already have that so let's go to file and place in my download folder I select this picture and I place it and you can see here we have a city we have a bridge that's coming toward us so we have kind of a perspective effect there something that comes out of the phone that's kind of important to have something that goes over the border and it's easily selected you know okay and um, it doesn't have to match a hundred percent the perspective of the phone because this is not something it's on the screen it's rather like a portal so it can be in a different kind of perspective but maybe it should match in a way that looks good still okay so the next thing to get these two together is select the layer with your city picture set this to opacity 50 percent so you can see the city and the phone in the background and this will enable you to resize it so this matches so you can see the bridge goes over the border of the picture and we have a nice view of the city too so now we can set this back to 100 percent and now what we need is a selection of the inside of the phone so for this i hide the layer by clicking here in this check mark and then I want to zoom in now because this is an iPhone the edges here the corners they are a little bit rounded so I'm not going to do a classic selection instead what I'm going to do is to go over here on the left side click on the rectangle tool and hold it and there you have one that says rounded rectangle tool so select that and then click and drag to have almost the size of the screen up here you can see there is a corner icon and there is a percentage to that so let's reduce that probably to one percent in this case and the next thing we want to do is with the rounded rectangle layer selected go over here to the left side click and hold and select the perspective tool and then you can zoom in here by holding your control key and move this over the edge and don't move it exactly over the edge like this because you can see there's a little bit of shadow here move it a little bit further so these areas are covered and you don't have a problem with the edge with anything sticking out so really zoom in use your control key hold it and use your mouse wheel to scroll so you can go in and out and see if everything is correct here everything lines up in a nice way that looks good really zoom in there and reveal the edge and then hide the edge so you get a good feeling if everything is the way you want it to be so after you've set this up and everything looks good click on apply and now you have this shape and what we are going to do with that is you again hold control and click on that layer and this will create a selection so that's very helpful for us so the next thing you want to do is to make the layer visible again with the city photo like this so you have this selection and then we still have to select the bridge so go over to your selection tool freehand selection that's important and click on add up here so it will keep the selection we already have and we will add to that selection next thing we want to zoom in here hold the shift key and then click here click and then click along the outside of your picture like that uh, sorry the outside of the bridge and what you want to do here is to click your mouse wheel to move the picture around 
so you can see everything that is going on like so we are here on the wrong edge that's not good we want to select the bridge edge like that and I'm going a bit slower than you usually would but that's okay so you can see what I'm doing and I know that I already have captured the edge of the bridge so this is too much down here click on subtract again hold shift and then click 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 and it's gone good so now we have this selection and with this and with our picture layer selected we want to click on the mask layer button like that and this now gives us our city with the bridge inside the phone now this is not the end we have to do some additional effects to make this work and look really good okay so the first thing i want to do here is to right click on my picture layer and select merge visible so this will create a copy of everything combined in one layer with this selected what i want to do is to go to filter blur zoom blur like this and you can set this up by to taste and also depending on the resolution of your picture i will leave it at 100 pixel and click apply this of course is too much but what we are going to do is to create a mask for that so click down here on mask like this then open it with a little triangle here and make sure that the mask layer is selected the next thing you want to do is to go over here to your gradient tool set the type to radial and then go in here and set one side to black and the other side to white all right and with this you can click into your picture drag it outwards and you can see this is going the wrong direction because now the phone is blurred but not the outside so again click here on your gradient and click down here on reverse so the colors change their position like that pretty easy right and now if we go inside and out you can see this gives us a circular mask around the phone where these parts here are blurred while the other parts here in the center they are not blurred you can also go here to set the border width of how strong it blends from black to white so we can go like this and have a good nice effect like so so that looks pretty good you want to check up here on the borders of the phone and turn this effect on and off to see if there is some blur and indeed yes there is some blur so what we want to do about that is to go to your brush and then set this let's say 75 percent hardness like that opacity let's set this to 30 percent or let's say set it to 50 percent actually like so and then um, for the size how big is this that's too small let's set it like this uh, maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less that looks good okay we want to select black as a color and then just paint over these areas because this will then hide the mask in these areas on the phone you can see even if the original picture the phone isn't completely sharp but it's good enough for us so that's perfect all right so we have this now the effect already looks pretty nice um something else i want to do here is and this is one of my favorite tricks by the way uh, go here to your rectangle put a rectangle over everything and then you could for example select from my mythical gradients that i've created i will link them in the video description too um, to select a gradient for example like this and set it to soft light you can of course also set up your own color so don't worry about that and this will just help you to set up a certain mood for the picture to get a certain wipe in there to make this a certain look um, and also maybe give the background a different kind of color than the foreground so let's see this can click around here a little bit this is kind of nice actually this is also kind of nice so we can play around with this a little bit this is interesting let's 
bring this up here a little bit. Okay. The next thing we want to do here is to hold control and click on the mask that we created for the city layer. You can see that it selects the inside, but there's a bit of stuff missing here. So select your freehand selection tool, go to subtract and hold your shift key and simply make a selection like this that selects all the parts on the outside and you can see now they are removed and now we go to select and invert pixel selection like this so we have everything but the city selected and now we can click on mask with the rectangle with the gradient selected like this so you can see now this is now applied to the background but not to our city in the foreground and we can again play around with that see if we find something that looks cool to us what i also want to do at this point is to select the city layer and create an adjustment for color balance like that and then move this inside here you can see i click and drag until this blue line gets a bit shorter so this is now inside of here and now i can adjust the city in a way that i feel like that looks good so this is up to your taste up to your style whatever you want to do here um, this looks pretty good it's a bit warmer than before so the last thing i want to do here is to create an add noise layer live filter and then add noise and make sure that this add noise actually is on top of everything like this and then just pull this up to create a little bit of noise as you can see here this kind of grain in the picture this is now also on the city and this combines both of them a little bit better because now both have the same grain in them uh, so that makes it a little bit more realistic we could actually play around with vignettes so let's also create a vignette here because as you know i'm a huge vignette fan so let's also put this on top of everything make this a negative vignette make it very soft make it bigger like this uh, that is okay the shape can stay like this so now you can see it's a little bit of vignette it gives a little bit more focus onto the center of the picture so that is pretty nice and i think i also want to have a brightness and contrast adjustment on that make the picture a little bit brighter give it a little bit more contrast like that so it kind of is a bit more eye-catching at first sight like so and then maybe also put on a vibrance adjustment also on top give it a little bit more vibrance this is also good for instagram that it's just it pops a little bit more if you know what i mean so it's subtle but it gives a little bit of an effect let's maybe also push the saturation a tiny bit there we go okay pretty much that's it and yeah i would say that's a pretty cool effect we created here and let's see what you do in the challenge check out the information below the video thank you very much for watching if you like my video subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get notified about new videos and if you enjoy it maybe you also want to share my videos with your friends thank you very much see you soon and have a nice day bye